Hello everyone! This is Sorry and Target welcoming you back to another chillaxed carnivores hunting adventure, where today we are putting the chill in chillaxed. Because it is cold outside, winter is here, this is the first day of winter officially I believe, and Christmas is right around the corner. So I thought, you know what, instead of playing Carnivore's Ice Age, because, well, it's Carnivore's Ice Age, let's play the good version of Carnivore's Ice Age and hop back into Far North, where today we're doing, you know, I guess you could call it a challenge. This might be the return of the Carnivore's Challenges. We are going to strictly be hunting Megatherium, the big green giant ground sloth itself, and I am terrified. We're going to be on Moraine Domain, of course. Uh, we're going to be at dawn just to kind of set the, the creepy, uh, wintry atmosphere a little bit better. And we are, of course, going after Megatherium. Now, Megatherium is terrifying. It is a giant bullet sponge of a beast. Uh, we're going to need a whole lot of firepower to bring one of these down. And so, <laughs> appropriately, we're going to be bringing uh, every single weapon with us uh, on this hunt. Now, we can't use the frostbite until we run out of every other bullet in every other weapon. Because Far North right now uses the speed patch, which means uh, you can't select weapons past six on the keyboard. Uh, but hopefully we will survive long enough to get to use the frostbite. That's a matter of skill, and we'll see just how well that statement holds up. Uh, I'm actually going to turn tranquilizers off this time. Uh, I, I kind of want this to be, you know, like a big... Um, loosely tie in you know it's almost Christmas we're getting gifts gifts come in big packages Megatherium trophies would be a big gift I don't know there's a loose connection there somewhere <laughs> please don't hate me for how horrible that sentence was uh, camouflage of course radar no thank you cover scent of course and double ammo all right I hope you guys are ready because I'm a little bit terrified to go after Megatherium it's a giant aggressive scary animal but we'll see how this goes, so uh, everybody cross your fingers, cross your toes, and uh, just hope we don't get sliced open by the fingers and toes of a Megatherium. Okay, run mode's on. We are potentially all alone. Except for some of the ambient creatures. Alright, I think we're okay for now. Alright, welcome to Moraine Domain, everybody. No, 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 bad dog. Barking at nothing. Ooh, I tell you what, those little am amphicyon, I believe is the, pr the proper pronunciation, <laughs> they make hunting here difficult. Uh, most of the ambience do, in fact. The world is so alive that it's really actually kind of difficult to distinguish between your uh, ambient creatures and your potential prey or predator items. So, uh, hunting in Far North is always a very fun, lively challenge. And let's see what we're doing here. Let's see, wind's blowing southwest. That's actually really good for us. We can stick right along this river and see if we can't find ourselves some Megatherium. Now, as I said before, uh, Megatherium is one of the most terrifying creatures in the Carnivores universe. I want to get to that ridge, actually. Might, there might be some safety there. Uh, it is huge. It is hyper-aggressive. It is a bullet sponge. And we are going to need pretty much every bullet and every gun to uh, even hope to get some of this challenge completed. So, let's get up here, where we can duck down here if we need to, and also uh, beat a higher vantage point if... Oh, no, no, let's not fall off, please. Okay, let's get our calls going. Okay, no response. But what I also love and fear about Megatherium is that it's such an aggressive creature that its calls, even though it's a herbivore, actually scare off the ambient animals. I think that says a lot about Megatherium's reputation. You do not want to get in the way of one of these things. Just ask that idiot Smilodon brother from Walking with Beasts to try to stand up to a Megatherium. The Megatherium said, uh, no sir, I'm hungry, I'll have your food please. All right, so we're going to stick right along this river. Ooh. Ah, Arsenitary. What a beautiful, beautiful creature. And so innovative. A big water rhinoceros hippo thing. Oh, and there's a group of them. Oh, they're so majestic. Also 37 tons. Holy crap. I'm surprised the things don't have their own orbit. That's insane. Oh, I love my love Far North. Far North is, I know I've said this so many times, Far North is what Ice Age should have been. 
Uh, I just thinking about the wasted wasted potential makes me so mad. But anyway, we're not playing Ice Age. We're playing Far North. Honestly, it, it's kind of funny. Uh, I wanted to do some kind of um, wintry holiday themed video. Uh, this will probably be the last video to go up on the channel until the new year. Um, barring any, you know, big mod announcement like a like a new mod coming out or a new uh, beta release or anything like that. And and I was thinking, you know, it never even crossed my mind to play the original Ice Age. Like I, I thought, you know, we need some wintry, snow themed uh, carnivores mod to play, and I just instinctively went, oh yeah, far north, of course. <laughs> I didn't even give Ice Age a second thought, and then I thought, oh wait a second, Ice Age does exist, doesn't it? Oh well, we're playing Far North. <laughs> so, here we are. Apologies if Ice Age is your favorite Carnivores game. I know we do have some uh, loyal Ice Age supporters out there. That's just an Amphisaion. Uh, but we are going to be uh, playing Far North, hunting some Megatherium. Let's see. Okay, I've still got nothing on the replies. I'm keeping the uh, trusty chop shot out, just in case. The thing about uh, Megatherium hunting is that it's... I thought I heard footsteps. Ooh, okay. <laughs> uh, Megatherium is such an aggressive tank. Um, I mean, typically, you know, you'd keep, like, the chop shot out, which I love, by the way, for, like, dealing with random spawn predators. And then something like the high mall heater for dealing with, you know, your actual uh, targeted prey items. But uh, honestly, Megatherium, this is going to be a very uh, up close and personal fight, I'm sure. So uh, really, I brought everything long range, close range for dealing with these big. I swear there's so many footprints, so many footsteps. Silence, dog. Okay, still nothing. So I think we can rule this section out as far as Megatherium go. I'd like to... Mm, no, I'm going to do something potentially not that smart, which I know will come as a shocker to many of you. <laughs> uh, I'm not going to take the high ground. I'm going to stay down here uh, off the mountainside, out on the uh, scrubland. Reason being, I want to keep the wind uh, as well in our favor as I can. And I think up there, if we're heading southwest, it's not going to be that ideal. So we are going to stick down here in the flatland areas. And just do our best. I'd also like for us to, if we can, you know, survive the hunt and get enough Megatherium, uh, I'd like for us to head back to the trophy room and just check them out. Uh, see how well we did, enjoy the spoils of war. Kind of, you know, check out our gifts with it being uh, holiday themed and whatnot. Of course, I guess, you know, in a, in a strange way to tie this in with uh, the holiday spirit, you could label the Megatherium as either Santa Claus, a, a C-L-A-W-S for all of the uh, pun lovers out there, if you're like myself, or it could be, you know, he's kind of like the Grinch. He's big, mean, green, hairy. Uh, Megatherium is basically just a big Grinch, so today we are Grinch hunting, you could say. Which honestly doesn't make me feel any better about what I'm trying to do here. Okay, we've reached this big bend in the river. Coming up on where I believe it probably used to flow in uh, to the uh, mainland area, unless it's just a glacier that got pushed through, making this little pathway here. So now that we're up here closer towards the center of Moraine Domain, we'll let loose another Megatherium call. I knew it! I knew it! Oh dear, oh dear. Okay, well... <laughs> you know, I, I can't say I'm surprised. That's about how my uh, far north hunts tend to go. We'll, uh, we'll try that again in just a moment. Okay, uh... We're back in this, and the uh, the wind could not be worse. We'll see if we can make our way up here. 
and see if we can hunt some Megatherium in the snow. I, ah, I, that, makes, that makes me so mad. I knew, I knew if I put the chop shot away, I'm not as skilled with the MOA shotgun, but I felt it was more reliable just because it's not as inaccurate as the chop shot, which, I mean, doesn't, doesn't dampen my love of the chop shot any. I, I just felt like it'd be the safer alternative, but boy, it turns out it wasn't. Of course, we could chalk that up to user error. I should have just kept the chop shot out and... Or known how to use the MOA shotgun, that would have helped as well. Alright, I'm gonna let loose a call. And there's no Megatherium here! <laughs> how delightful! Alright, we're gonna head south then. Back to the mainland, fighting this awful wind the whole way. And I'd like, if we could, to kind of go take that, uh, that little ice bridge. Just so we don't have to swim. As much, anyway. Come on. Come on! Ooh, I can't even imagine how in shape the hunter has to be to endure all of this. And this is the novice rank map, man. Far north is going to be crazy. I have to go do some workouts just to, like, mentally prepare myself. Okay, I think if memory serves, we're coming up on this big ice bridge. Yeah, there we go. Alright, good deal. So we'll cross down here, and then the wind's blowing up to the northeast, so we could actually head back up that way. Uh, closer to where we, uh, unfortunately found ourselves in the vice grip jaws of a hyena dawn just a few moments ago. Uh, again, I, I don't want to say that, you know... I, that the chop shot failed me, or that I have any ill towards the Hyndodon because it ate me, you know. They're still my favorite things in this mod, favorite animal, favorite weapon, so... Uh, if anything, we just got to see them kind of in action, which is great. There we go. Okay, I think I started on the wrong flow here. Let's see if we can make this work. This is so fun. Honestly, more Ice Age themed mods need to, A, exist, and B, have stuff like this. Like, I love this. Carnivore's Ice Age has that one pond with the ice flows, but, I mean, you can't really do much on those. It's just like a little circular pond. Okay, so now that we're back here in the mainland, hopefully with, um, a little more skill to back up our actions. It looks like we're okay. Let's go ahead and call and see if we can't figure out where these big beasts are. Alright, we've got a response. Now, I had the dairy out. What a fool I am! Okay, I believe that call came from this direction. So we're just going to start working our way this way. as much cover as we can. Okay, I've still got nothing on the binoculars. I don't know how far away this Megatherium is going to be. Uh-huh. Looks like that far. Okay. So let's see what we're dealing with here. Distance is just over a thousand feet. Pretty big Megatherium, too, if I remember correctly. I don't recall exactly how big they get, but that's a nice-sized animal. Okay, let's start with our distant shot. And he's actually going to run. Okay. Towards us. Whoa, boy, what an idiot I am. Nope, nope, he's running, he's running. All right, let's get some distant shots while we can. Ooh, the frost bite would have been helpful there. Okay, now let's go get him. Actually, I, I hate to do it, but the chop shot's just so inaccurate, I'm afraid I'm going to get ambushed by something and just not n know how to defend myself properly. Alright, here's where the blood trail starts picking up. Let's go run this big boy down. Megatherium's not... it's not slow, 
But I mean, obviously it's not like fast. It's not a speedy predator or anything. So we should be able to keep a fairly good pace. There we go. And hopefully catch up to it um, relatively soon. In the meantime, we can do some more calls. Where are you going there, fella? Here we go. It is extremely difficult for me to find these blood trails. Now it's a little easier. I hope you didn't double back. Make sure nothing's out there. Okay, here we go. Now, he was hit, which means he's going to... Uh, it's going to take him a little bit longer to calm down than it would if we just spooked him. And once again, I thought I heard something large. And potentially bone crunching. No, we're good. Okay. Well, we've got some good wind now. Let's, uh, let's see. Keep headed this way, and we'll try another call. Okay, no reply, so he's probably not close, and if he is, he still doesn't calm down. Oh, I hear you. I hear you, big dog. I hear your woof woof. And it's a lot closer than I feel comfortable with. That was a miss. Oh my gosh! <laughs> <sighs> they're tough, man. I'm telling you, they're tough. All right. Take three. This video's gone from how many Megatherium can we take down to can we take down a Megatherium? Oh, boy. Okay, new goal. Let's get a Megatherium, and then we'll go check them out in the trophy room. Sound like a plan? Good. I'm glad we're all in agreement there. Okay, we are down in this uh, southern little island across the river. I, I say it's an island. I'm sure it's still connected to the mainland back that way. But let's go ahead and let out a call and see if there's anything back here with us. Alright, we are in luck. Maybe the Grinchmas holiday spirit is finally turning in our favor. Okay, so I believe it was back this direction to the south. Well, pretty much due south. Which actually isn't great for the wind. I was kind of hoping we'd be able to cross the river and have uh, great wind up there on the uh, main stretch of land. But, hey, if the Megatherium's back here, he's really got nowhere to go. So, I think we can make this work. Again, assuming he is in this direction. Which he definitely is. Okay, I'll need to approach this a little bit better. We've got some trickier terrain. There you are, there you are. All right, pal, come on. Is this cheap, perhaps? Is it working? Yes. Am I complaining? Not in the slightest. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. And another 6-ton Megatherium. That's awesome. I wasn't sure how big this guy was going to be. Oh, man. Rough night. I can tell. Don't worry. You're off to a better place, my friend. Ooh, that trophy ship looks so good. Oh, I love it. The big, heavy-duty class ones. It feels so appropriate to have a ship like that carrying off an animal that large. <laughs> Boy, he looks like he had a rough night for sure. Bye, buddy. Hope you find your dad. <laughs> he almost looked like he was waving to us. See you in a bit, pal. Okay, now the question has become... Do we cut our losses and bail, or do we press on? Let's see, I'll do another call. If we get a response, we'll go after it. If not, I think we'll just call it at that. Uh, 
Okay, I don't know about you guys, but I did not hear a response, so I guess that's our sign. Woo! Alright, let's head back to the trophy room and check this guy out. Alright, here we are in the far north trophy room, and as you can tell, Megatherium is gigantic just compared to the other animals here. Alright, let, let's see, there's our new guy. Let's see, seven tons. Okay, so not quite a record, but still, nothing to scoff at. Very sizable animal. You know, I was hoping I, I did emptied out my trophy room in the hopes that, hey, for this video, you know, let's get a bunch of Megatherium, and, well... This is our haul, but <laughs> I guess, you know, that, that sums up a, a 2020 carnivores hunt pretty well. Uh, you, you hope for one thing, and you end up with another, but hope you guys enjoyed this hunt. Um, again, I know it wasn't anything special or spectacular, and uh, in fact, it was quite a bit of failures there, but still, I had fun. I hope you guys had fun with it, you know, just getting to hang out, shoot the breeze, talk about carnivores, and uh, get our entrails eaten out by a bunch of giant prehistoric animals. Always a good time, but uh, thank you guys again for watching, as always for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, be sure to let me know down in the comment section which is your favorite uh, animal in Far North. Uh, I know in my ranked video, I put Megatherium as number one. I believe it kind of encapsulates everything that Far North is very well, but my uh, personal favorite would have to be Hyenodon there. But I'm curious to know which one is your guys' favorite. Be sure to let me know down in the comment section. Get a good discussion going down there about Far North and what you're excited to see as this mod progresses. This is one of the mods that I am probably uh, definitely one of the most, one of the ones I'm the most excited about seeing um, as it gets more updates and progresses. So be sure to let me know what you guys are excited about to see for the future of Far North. Uh, thanks again for watching. Have a uh, Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, however you guys do it this time of year. Uh, be sure to stay safe out there, have a good time, and I will see you guys next time.